Last week, number 10, Steve Bartkowski threw two touchdown passes, but the Atlanta Falcons lost a one-pointer to the Minnesota Vikings 24-23. On the other hand, Steve Grogan had three touchdown passes for the New England Patriots, a very impressive 34-17 win over the Cleveland Browns. It's game number two, the site Schaefer Stadium, Foxborough, Massachusetts, as today the New England Patriots playing host to the Atlanta Falcons. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Bender along with John Madden. And, John, I honestly didn't know if they'd let you in the stadium today after all the misery you caused them as an Oakland coach. Over the years, we had a lot of big games with the Patriots and a lot of controversial games. And I think the fact that we arrived here early, I think we kind of sneaked in and they didn't see They us. didn't throw anything at you. They couldn't. Speaking of throwing, last week, what a job by Tommy Kramer. He had 395 yards for the Minnesota Vikings. He drove Atlanta crazy. It was a long day for the Atlanta defense, and more specifically for rookie Kenny Johnson, number 37, who started in place of Rick Bias. On the other hand, Grogan was just outstanding, as he was the type of quarterback that can hurt you in a hurry, including the 67-yarder to Stanley Morgan. Stanley Morgan, a, a very exciting play. You know, anytime he gets his hands on the ball, it's not only going to go that far, but it can go all the way on any play. Well, that's going to cause a problem for this Atlanta Falcon football team, obviously, after giving up 395 yards last week. Before the game, we visited with Coach Lehman Bennett of Atlanta and asked him what they're going to have to do. What I think will happen today is I think the Patriots come out and try to throw the ball on us and try for the big play. They have, uh, for a long time now, been a football team that would run it at you for a while and then try to go up on top with... Uh, and two, one of their uh, three fine uh, receivers. And uh, I think we'll have a difficult time this afternoon stopping it. Of course, we've worked very hard this week in preparation to get it stopped, and uh, we're anxious to find out whether or not we will. National Football League, a young rookie, Reggie Smith from North Carolina Central. He is only five foot four. And here he is at the goal line. Smith out to the 20, fumble the football. And who's got it? It looks like New England has recovered inside the 15 yard line. Prentice McCray looked like the man that got on top of it, and that is a very costly turnover in the early going here for Atlanta. They're, they're all costly, but there's so many things seem to happen early in the season on special teams that change the, the, the game. You know, big plays, and we just saw one of them on the opening play, Gary. Let's check now, John, the offensive alignment now for the New England Patriots. Explosive football team, John Hanna. He might be the best offensive lineman in the country. Top players in the National Football League. Steve Grogan has Vegas Ferguson and Don Calhoun in the running back field. And this is Ferguson, the number one draft pick out of Notre Dame. Pride more over there to make the stop. Defensively, Atlanta this year, John, has gone to a 3-4. They haven't they moved number 65, Don Smith, into the nose tackle. He was an end last year. And, you know, none of those players like to be moved in there. The linebacking core, though, played very well last week against Minnesota. Head linebackers are two new starters, as is Buddy Curry, number 50. Grogan on a second down and five. End zone, Hasselbeck touchdown. Don Hasselbeck, who last week had a 17-yard touchdown strike, has his second of this 1980 season. You see here, one thing about Steve Grogan is he will move the pocket. You see, this is an organized rollout. Both guards pull, so he has an option to run or pass. He sees his big target in the end zone Don Hasselbeck hits him for the touchdown and England Patriots with 14 7 to go in this first quarter of play have struck and struck in a hurry as they have a 7 0 lead they got off the mark very quickly last week against the Cleveland Browns this is an offensive line John that really has some good young people up front they sure do and the and the most impressive is their left tackle number 78 uh, Mike Ken six foot six 257 he he has turned into a real premier pass protector. And in that backfield, Kane has been a very big surprise for this football team. Calhoun, Vegas Ferguson, the running backs, behind Steve Grogan. Grogan, getting off to Vegas Ferguson, and he has some footing problems, and he lost the football that's been picked up. Atlanta with it, the 25-yard line, and they have it. Vegas Ferguson, All of a sudden, the ball got away from Ferguson. It looks like Jeff Yates fell on it. Let's look at it, John. Play. Having a tough time, aren't they? It was, it was a guard pull. It looked like Ferguson was going to follow the guard. He left the guard because Yates got penetration. They missed Yates on the play. He got upfield, which forced Ferguson inside, and then, of course, the fumble. Atlanta. Bartkowski. 
Up to Andrews, and Andrews inside the 20 to the 18-yard oh, line. Find out it gets 25 miles to the gallon. <laughs> Second down and three, a gain of seven. Junior Miller, their number one draft pick, has come in at tight end, replacing Russ McKeskey. A give to Kane, and Kane very close to the first down at the 15-yard line. Of Nebraska. Markowski on the play action on the first down. As he's man, catch is made by Miller, the man we just mentioned, and he's inside the 10 yard line. They had three wide receivers in on this play. This is Andrews to the five. John, they're using that a lot, three wide receivers. It's interesting. That's the third time that they've used the three wide receivers. I think you tend to use it early when you want to get a shot from the press box, a Polaroid shot, to see how the defense will adjust to it, and then you decide what you want to do with it later. Had to try to capitalize on the fumble. Here's Bartkowski, and he has the first and goal. Along with Lynn Kane, Bartkowski first and goal. Andrews, Andrews is to about the one yard line. 80 season, second and goal, one yard line. This is Andrews, and he's in. The ball is loose, but that does not matter. It does not matter. It's a touchdown anyway. Once you break that plane to the goal line, it doesn't matter if you lose the football. Mark, and there was some thought that this could be a real shootout. It could be a high-scoring game, and thus far in the early going, it looks that way. Official. Hubach, back. I didn't know you liked any officials, John. Oh, a few of them. I like them all away from the game. Oh, what a kick by Hubach. Reggie Smith back to the 30-yard line. He's waiting for the wall to develop. He's still waiting, and he may go the other way. He has all kinds of running room. 45, 50, and he's going to be dropped at the 47-yard line. From high above, you could see everything developing. And Reggie Smith evidently saw that. 36-yard line, first down. In motion, Wallace Francis. Then Kane, and Kane inside the 45 to the 42. Steve Nelson who's the nucleus of this defense. Outstanding linebacker out of North, Car North Dakota State. Offensively, they're two different f uh, teams. One, when they have good field position or good offense, when they don't, they don't play very well. Second and five, Miller. Miller with a first down catch. And he's out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Rick Sanford over there, and all of a sudden, Junior Miller, who hadn't caught a pass last week, is figuring in their offense. Kansas from the 35-yard line now. First down, 15 yards to go. Barkowski with nice protection. He hits Andrews, and Andrews to the 29-yard line. That's back to the original line of scrimmage. Steve Nelson over there. As you look at Ron Earhart, his second year as coach, he coached Steve Nelson in college. Passing situations. Third down, eight yards to go. Barkowski is three of three thus far for 23 yards. Beautiful protection again. He has his man. This is Wallace Francis to the five. Francis is going to take it in. Wallace Francis, who had eight touchdown catches last year, a 27-yarder. And if they did that I like here is they spread the New England defense out. They had three wide receivers in there and spread the tight end. They had four players spread across the field, which got rid of the double coverages. And as we see what happens here, they forced a linebacker to cover Wallace Francis by having the four receivers on the line of scrimmage. Wallace Francis, who's really come on his own out of Arkansas Pine Bluff. Seven, as this game has the earmarks of being an offensive explosion before it's all over. 4.06 remaining in this first quarter of play. Across the field. And it was a 27-yard touchdown catch. This is Horace Ivory. Ivory out to the 28-yard line. Ivory's the man who's had tremendous potential, but always seems to be short-circuited by injury. New England having to play catch-up. Last week, they led all the way against Cleveland. Brings it out to the 30. That's Calhoun to maybe the 31. It's going to be just short of the first down. It's hard to tell what they will do in a catch-up situation. Pete Brock now has come in at a center spot. This is Calhoun trying to pick up the first down on a third and one. It'll be very, very close. Had to work for it. Lack is indicative of all of what's happening in the NFC and the NFL. Back to throw. Grogan has his man Ivory. Ivory, a flag is thrown. Flag thrown way after the play is over near the tackle. Let's listen now. Face mask, number 58, defense, first down. 
That's Joel Williams, the second year man from Wisconsin Lacrosse, who was a draft pick of Miami. Back. Jeff Miro has come in defensively now for Atlanta. Grogan on the second down. Lots of time. Delivers it to Harold Jackson. Jackson hit immediately and dropped by Rollin Lawrence. And Jackson now has 502 catches in his very fine career. And it was supposed to be an in pattern. They start with a play pass. He fakes a run, comes back and watch him hold and hold. Jackson was running and in. Then he had to wait until he got past the defender in the middle of the field. Sub Atlanta. 54 seconds to go in this first quarter. Grogan again with good protection. And he hits his man Jackson again. And that will be another first down inside the 30. Well, wait a minute. No, he's going to be short of it. Bring up second down. Jackson's relief. Second down. A long two to go. Grogan hits Ivory. And Ivory to the 31. But again, there's a flag on the play. That would be enough for the first down. So the first down, of course, they'll refuse the penalty after that completion. The 22-yard line, Calhoun. Calhoun to the 20. Good job by Calhoun to the 17-yard line. At quarterback, in motion goes Harold Jackson. This is Ivory. Ivory to the 15. Oh, is he hit, but he stays on his feet somehow. Buddy Curry went flying over there. He's that young rookie out of North Carolina, their second-round draft pick. Third down and two. Richardson comes out. Jim Laughlin replaced him at linebacker on a third and two. Grogan, he's going to run with it. And he has the first down. That is what makes Grogan so very difficult. He led all NFL quarterbacks in rushing a year ago. Field along with Calhoun. Jackson in motion. Here is Calhoun to the 10, to the 5, to the 3. You can hear the crowd chanting Calhoun. Calhoun as Johnson threw a big block on this play. You see that lead block. Again, it was a weak side power play. Andy Johnson leads. Gets the linebacker right there, Buddy Curry, which opens a hole in which Don Calhoun goes through and pounds down right into the three-yard line. Down and a yard to go for a first and goal. Calhoun again, and I'll tell you, I don't think he got it then, did he? No, I'm sure that he didn't get it. I don't I don't really like that either. either. No, sir. He led the NFL in receiving at 75. Here we go, fourth down, Grogan on the roll. He's got blockers, and he is in for the touchdown. Wait a minute. No, they say he did make it in. He's at the one-inch line, but it will be a first and goal. And Don Calhoun, first and goal at the half-yard line. Calhoun, he's in. Touchdown with a flag. There is another flag on the play. Boy, he was hit in that air. That flag will go against Atlanta. I'm sure they lined up off sides and the touchdown will stay. Right, and that one will go on the kickoff. They'll kick off and instead of the 35-yard line. Number 22, defense. Penalty on the kickoff. Extra point is good. I think he's listening to you up here. Well, if, if he is, it would be the first time to ever listen to me. <laughs> so we're all even. 12.03 to go till halftime. Big pressure put on by Tony McGee. Gets away from it. Junior Miller, first down catch at the 35. And that's something that sometimes Barkowski is criticized for, is not able to avoid that on-rushing line. But first down catch, though, by Junior Miller, who's really played well in this first half of play. Barkowski. And good effort by Kane again. He just straightened people up and moves it to the 40. And a... From the 40-yard line, Bartkowski looking. He tried to hit Junior Miller, but it was broken up by Mel Lunsford. Miller had cleared, and the pass probably would arrive there, but number 72, Lunsford. Before he starts to throw, continue to rush. Third down and five. Remember now, Miller was wide open on that play, and I'm sure Atlanta's aware of that. Here's Bartkowski again, and he hits his man. The nice catch is made by Francis. He has a first down at the 50. And I'll tell you, Bartkowski had something on that football. Brent at halftime, so stay with us for that. Second down and seven for Atlanta. 14-14 our score. Bartkowski intended for Jackson. He got it. Alfred Jackson to the 40. Jackson to the 35. And that was a good play by Jackson, who's made some big plays for this Atlanta team. It'll be interesting to see as we see Adams comes here, the right end, Julius Adams. 
he tips the ball. Now it tips up. It's a screen pass as we see the line coming out. We see Mike Ken coming out there and blocking on Sanford to get the play started. But that was from from Bartkowski to Julius Adams to <laughs> made some big plays. Andrews and Kane, the running back. First down, just inside the 35. In motion is Kane. Bartkowski delivers a ball, Junior Miller, and look at him, Shed Tackler. There is a flag, however, at the 30. Miller ran over some people. And then he came up and threw to Junior Miller right down the middle. As we see it right here. See, it held the linebackers well, just long enough to let Junior Miller get between the linebackers and the safety. Our director, Jim Al, for 95 yards. A little delay, and that did not develop as Kane dropped in a hurry by Ray Hamilton. Line. 14 to 14, our score, Barkowski. As time, he hits Miller again, and he's going to go in unmolested for the touchdown. He was as open as you'll ever get open. He was open. It was a play pass, and it's what we call a delay. They faked both backs to the side of Junior Miller, made it look like an off-tackle play. As we see it here, see both backs come to the strong side. Miller delays and gets hit, hidden in there, comes underneath the linebackers, and two Patriot defenders pick themselves off. Boy, Junior Miller will be a big force for this team this I year. I think that's exactly right, John. I was able to make it 21-14. Miller now with five catches, 67 yards, and a touchdown. Squad, and he makes himself shorter. Difficult target for the center. He's 5'10". The man who replaced Eddie Hare was about 6'3 or 4. That's not a very good kick, and it's fielded short for the fair catch. I don't believe that's going to happen very often as Bob Glazebrook, number 36, a safety. I don't think he could believe the ball was coming to him, but he 21-14, the Falcons with the lead. Bartkowski, beautiful protection. He gets it off to Andrews, 40, 35, Andrews at the 32-yard line. That was quite a block by Warren Bryant, the big offensive tackle, and a man shaken up, Mike Hawkins, for the New England Patriots. We'll see Hawkins is replaced by rookie Larry McGrew at linebacker. Markowski to Kane. Kane gets a block from Andrews, and he's got the first down and then some. To the 22-yard line, but Andrews threw a great block at the start of that play that gave Kane time to pick up 10 yards. Well, we'll see that block in that run, and we'll see Andrews here in the lead block just takes a man right down, and Lynn Kane waits, then he's by. And again, I said no one person this year has tackled Lynn Kane. Now, he doesn't look spectacular. He's not, has a fine defense. They play the run on first down very hard. And what he did on this pass is he faked. He faked a run first. He faked to William Andrews. Again, that held the linebackers in. And then Junior Miller, as we'll see it again, we see the fake to Andrews. Now, Junior Miller was able to get behind the linebackers, as we see right there, and in front of the secondary. See, and it just goes over the head of, of number 54, John Zamberlin. Boy, a tight end line. This is Steve Bartkowski, and I think the third reason, and maybe the biggest reason in the difference this week than last week, is the play calling. I like their mixture much better. Last week they were running on first down more, they were running on second down, then they would get in those long yardage situations to pass. This time, they're, as you mentioned earlier, they're mixing it up all the time. Very. Francis caught one earlier, and of course Miller with two. Here's Grogan back to throw on a first down. He hits Jackson, and Jackson is belted very hard on the near sideline. He had to kind of wait a little bit on that ball, and Lawrence really teed off on him. 104. He's going for the top, he told us prior to the game. He's going to be number one. Grogan back on a first down. This is Morgan at the 50-yard line. He is enveloped in a hurry. Lawrence, and all of a sudden now the Patriots are on the move. 17-yard pass completion. We see if you don't envelop Stanley Morgan very quickly, he can take that ball, as we said earlier, and he can break anything with it. Look, look at Grogan hang in there. Just as he was throwing the ball, he, get, he gets hit. Rollin Lawrence really thus far, leading by two touchdowns. Grogan back, 224 left in the first half. Calhoun, and he can't hang on. A good shot that time on the near sideline. Good defensive play by Reed, but there's a flag at the 41 yard line. Let's listen. Illegal Chuck. Illegal contact, number 54 defense, first down. That's the reason he'll take it quick. First down. Grogan, as we have 2.18 to go in the first half, hits Foreman, and Foreman will go out of bounds at the 37. And now Grogan really opening up. 
He's in his two-minute offense, and Grogan, when he's in the two-minute offense, he can drive you batty. Alternating at center. Grogan, 9 of 13 for 96. Foreman, and Foreman dropped at the 32-yard line. That will be enough for the first down. Joel Williams making the tackle. The football game as of right now. New England with 13 first downs. Atlanta with 12. Grogan just got rid of the ball to Foreman. And Foreman knocked out of bounds at the 25, a gain of five. Al Richardson came storming through, and Grogan having to throw that ball in a hurry. Two, the clock shows 118, a first down, Grogan. A little bit of pressure again, Jackson touchdown. There are two flags on the play, but Harold Jackson loose, caught the ball. Let's see what the penalty's all about. I believe it is going against New England. Interference, number 29, offense. Well, that's Jackson, he pushed off to get open. Time, 1-12 remaining. The score, 28-14 Atlanta. Grogan, up to Johnson. Johnson to the 30. 35 and goes out of bounds. That stops the clock with 106. He gets some of that yardage back, about five of it. Frank, third down now, and 14 yards to go. Grogan, with time. He has a man, Morgan. Touchdown, New England. Stanley Morgan. A 25-yard touchdown strike. And, John, he did a remarkable job getting both feet in bounds. I tell you, he did a remarkable job of running the pattern. He did a remarkable job of the catch. And we'll see the play again here. It's a fake, a fake blitz as Grogan go back. Grogan was hit as or after he threw the ball. He limped off the field. You look at this throw, throw here. It's right on the money. It has to be because the coverage of Kenny Johnson really wasn't that bad. One foot in. Ooh, Ooh, oh, that second foot was not in. 23 points on the board. They have come back in on this first half and scored 28 points, showing they have a very fine offensive team. They sure do, and I'm impressed with their defense today, too. They're playing the, the run very well. Those linebackers doing a fine job. We talked about Bartkowski. This is as, as, as well as I've ever seen Steve Bartkowski play a half. Uh, but one of the big things of that is the addition of Junior Miller. They thought that. They drafted him number one, the seventh player taken. And he's really shown why in his first half. He has just been outstanding. On the other hand, New England, there's a team that you just can't get enough points to stay ahead of them. 28-21, Atlanta at Madden. As we've just compiled the figures here, in the first half, 290 yards in total offense as far as passing is concerned, 23 of 31, five touchdowns. That's very impressive, and of course, that's both quarterbacks combined, both uh, teams combined. The impressive thing is not only how well that they've thrown the ball, but there, there's been a great pass rush, and both of these quarterbacks have shown toughness. We talk about toughness of defensive linemen and offensive linemen, but both of these quarterbacks have hung in there and thrown well under adversity. In this game, the rushing stats are not all that impressive. Atlanta leads with 60 as opposed to 51 for New England. Well, you know, really, neither defensive team has stopped the other's passing yet, so there's not a need for running. And I think it may become in the second half or maybe in the fourth quarter, running may become an important part of the game, and the team that can run the best and control the ball may end up winning this game. Well, before the end of the first half, he's back in at left tackle. Calhoun and Ivory, the running backs. Jackson in motion. This is Ivory. Big move, but Kuykendall is there. Fulton Kuykendall, who's really a fine football player. Virtually 10 yards to go. 28-21, Atlanta with the lead. Grogan having a little trouble with his footing. Trying to roll out. To the 20, 25, he has a first down to 35 to the 38 yard line. Steve Grogan somehow got out of all that difficulty and went 19 yards for a first down. Grogan ran, ran with the ball, usually a quarterback. See, he's flushed out of the pocket. It's not a run. He sidestepped there. He outruns the defender there. Now you expect him to step out of bounds. He turned back into the inside, and I think that was the biggest fake of anything. Most quarterbacks, after they get the first down, turn outside or step out of bounds. He went back against the grain and picked up another 10 yards. He did himself well in this game, John, after a long Sunday a week ago. Well, that's the important thing. You know, Kenny Johnson said that if you've never been beaten as a corner, you've never played corner. New England now, the third down. They've made six of eight third downs in this game. Third down and nine. Grogan's going to be dropped this time. Coming up fast was Mike Seeley, number 63, out of Kent State. He's a backup to Don Smith at nose tackle, but he's played very well last Steve week in Grogan, particular. 
Steve Grogan fumbles the ball here, starts to go down, throws it to the umpire. The umpire didn't work back enough and caught it on one bounce. Had it on three previous kicks. One of them was 65 yards in the first half, and he had another beauty. This is Smith. At the 20, trying to get to the wall, to the 30, 35, and the little guy brings it out to the 38-yard line. Doing a very commendable job after fumbling that opening kickoff. He's done well. Line of scrimmage, the 37 for Atlanta. A little draw to Andrews. Andrews breaks the tackle to the 42-yard line. Ray Hamilton made the stop. Andrews, he just looks like a little fire plug out there. 7.13 to go, third quarter. This is Lynn Kane. And Kane has a first down and then some. Check that. Correction, that's Andrews. And Andrews gets a first down and again showing excellent balance. Getting the entire game. Andrews again. Andrews, nice cut. 40, 35, 30. Andrews to the 20, 15 to the 13 yard line. Ray Claver made the stop. And that time, Andrews showed that he can run pretty well. He, he sure can. He not only has the power, but he has the elusiveness. And then after this move here, the cut back inside, we'll see the speed. We'll see him take off for the long gainer. William Andrews last year had a great year in the opener. He didn't run for an awful lot, but he's making up for it today. 32-yard run. Claiborne, by the way, has been timed in college. Arkowski. And that's broken up again. That's Lunsford. It's the third time, unofficially, that New England has reached up and batted down a pass. 21, Atlanta with the lead. Gardkowski, protection there. Junior Miller's there. He makes the catch. It's going to be short of the first down at the nine-yard line. Mike Hawkins defending on the play. And fourth first down or a touchdown. There's no good in completing a pass and still have to kick the field goal. This will be a 26-yard attempt by Mazzetti. Mazzetti is one of one this year. He had a 23-yarder last week. Mazzetti's kick is on the way, and Tim Mazzetti hits it. And so it's now a 31-21 football game, a 10-point lead for the Atlanta Falcons as Tim Mazzetti in 1980 is two for two. This will be his fifth kick of the day. Smith back deep for Atlanta. Just inside, four minutes left in the third quarter. Short kick. Smith's going to try it. The super net kind of squirming around out there. He gets it out to the 36-yard line. A flag has been thrown after the play had come to a close. 33-yard kick that time by Hubach. He's had two. There hadn't been as long as he's wanted, but by and Rogan, it's interesting. Personal foul, number 52, first down. Second down and seven. Markowski, the blitz. Boy, is he hit. Really dumped by Rod Schoke. Schoke did that last week in that football game against Cleveland. It was a big win. You know, they haven't been bringing that weak side linebacker a lot in this game. And I think Atlanta started getting those backs out, and they forgot that Schoke might come. See, and he comes from the outside, and they didn't. That should have been either the guard or the tackle on that side. Scott. Rodkowski has the time. And he has his man, and that will be enough for the first down. Alfred Jenkins is the man that caught the ball. On a third and 19, a 21-yard strike, down 12 from the 40. 31-21, Atlanta with the lead. Bartkowski, nice play action. Miller again, and the big tight ends inside the 20. And he got down there in a hurry, didn't he? Tim was, Fox made the tackle. It was a great catch, and it was the same play that they had run early. Watch, they start this play fake. See, to hold those linebackers in and just run Miller straight up the field. There's no passing. And he throws it over the linebacker's head and in front of the secondary. Falcons with a 10-point lead and trying to add to it. Markowski gets it off the wing. Kane came with a nice move. And he makes it to about the 11-yard line. And so that's the end of the third quarter for the score here at Schaefer Stadium. The Atlanta Falcons 31, the New England Patriots 21. We now pause for a word from your local station. Atlanta's made six of 10 third down conversion. Markowski eludes the on-rushing lineman and delivers the football to Kane. And Kane at the 10 yard line, they're still gonna be two yards short of a first down. Zeddy's kick is on the way and he has it. And 
Tim Mazzetti is three of three in the season. Two here today. It's now 34-21 in favor of the Atlanta Falcons. Played very, very well. Behind Steve Grogan. Grogan, out of pressure, gets it off to Calhoun on a screen. He bubbled the ball, and Kenny Johnson has it for Atlanta. That ball stripped from Calhoun from behind after the screen play. And now Atlanta has the football back. Let's watch this one. And the reason it was stripped is because the Atlanta Falcon defense has been hustling all day. They've been swarming everything. We saw Joe Williams, number 58. He starts out on a blitz. He stops and comes back and strips Calhoun from behind. That's a great effort. Boy, it was. That guy can get around, can't he? Williams can run. That was so At the 27 of New England. Artkowski gets off to Kane, and Kane to the 20-yard line. Still, it's a remarkable effort, the way he can pick his way. Play. Andrews, the only running back. And he, I checked that. That's Kane. And Julius Adams has him, or does he? Almost got away from Julius Adams. Showing. Artkowski on the play action. Pressure put on. He had to get rid of it too quickly. Miller, the intended receiver. That was Steve Nelson. He came right up the middle from his linebacking spot. He'll come tough on a block here. Mazzetti has enough distance, and he hit another one. A 40-yard field goal for Mazzetti. And he's a big story here today for these Atlanta Falcons, who now lead it 37-21 to with 12.09. And Atlanta trying to pull at even 500 after two games. Atlanta now with a 37-21 to looking comeback for a rookie. And his confidence had to really be shaken. Here's Grogan, dropped for a loss. Hammered pretty good that time, and that's 56, Richardson. Chicago, Chicago losing on that unbelievable block field goal last week in Green Bay. Kubac, a beautiful kick. Oh, what a kick. Smith back inside the 25-yard line. He has it out to the 41, so he got a lot of that back. Coming over was Larry McGrew, the rookie linebacker from Southern Cal. Earlier, well, you're gambling there, aren't you? The flag on the play, running the ball is Kane. Kane just won't go down. He breaks the tackle to the 35, 30. He's going to take it all the way to the 10, 5 to the 1. Now, Schultz caught him, but again, there's a flag on the play. But regardless of whether that goes or not, it just shows you again of the resourcefulness, the strength of this Lynn Kane. That was 58 yards. They are holding number 87 offense. Offside number 70 defense replay. Well, McDougal was for New England and McKess Atlanta. Murkowski again with all kinds of time delivers the ball. It's caught by Jenkins. Jenkins and that will be a first down how many times have we seen Bartkowski on long third downs come through that's a first down Jenkins a catch giving him the first down as Andrews to the 40 yard line and now Atlanta just eating up the clock with oh third down now five Bartkowski off to Kane Kane did a lot of running in this game Oh, he's hit late on that one, maybe, huh? Maybe not. At the 35-yard line. And this time to the near side, Alfred Jackson. Up the middle. That's Andrews, and Andrews across the 20 for the first down. And they're just now just pounding this football right at New England. First down at the 19, Kane, and he's sworn. New England really playing the wide stuff left very well. McDougal, the rookie out of Virginia Tech, was over there first. With Francis. Orkowski with the time. Tended receiver on that play was Francis. There's a flag at the 30-yard line. Pretty well covered that time. England led the Holding NFL. 57 offense. Third down. Ooh, that guy looked from the side all the way into the center. <laughs> but Markowski with the time to throw again. Broken up at the line of scrimmage again. Another one of those arms up in the air while he's been protected. That's been the only breakdown. Those... This guy is just an expert at angling the ball out. Let's see if he can do it here. He's going for it. Boy, look how high he got that one up. 
And he's going to like that one. Is he going to like that one? That's Beautiful. the spiral that I was trying to talk about earlier when I said it goes up and comes down. Last week's game with Cleveland. Grogan, second down 10. Hasselbeck for tight end. He's playing a place of Russ Francis. Makes a first down catch. Especially when you see Grogan at 6'4". Francis is 6'6". That was a 17-yard pickup. Grogan again. Intercepted by Buddy Curry. Curry, the rookie linebacker, fumbled the ball. Robin Lawrence comes up with it. And Atlanta has the football. It's going to be a most interesting season, 1980. Barkowski to Andrews. Andrews to the 31-yard line. Second down, four. Andrews again. And the Auburn product inside the 25 for a first down. Well, John, an impressive win for Atlanta. It sure was, and I think that they answered a lot of questions today. Uh, Bartkowski probably had one of the best games that he ever played. Junior Miller established himself as, as a starter and a real threat on this team, and the improvement of the defense. And there's your final. Atlanta 37, New England 21. For John Madden, I'm Gary Bender. The NFL on CBS will continue after this word from your local station.